pinhole. I haven't done like a pinhole since obviously coming back off from our trips and I thought I would do an impromptu little April pinhole. I've really been going back into pins and pin trading. In fact, I have just set up a new uh, Instagram account called Sophie's Pins, pins with a Z. Um, I will leave a link to it down below if you wanna go and follow me. So there I'm gonna be sharing anything that I've got for trade or sale, anything I'm in search of. So if you like pins, head over to that uh, uh, new Instagram and I'd be very appreciative and we can talk all things pins. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few things to show you. Uh, let's just get started. So let's start with the Disney store, shall we? So I was never sort of a massive fan of these pins when they were released first time around. I wasn't overly bothered in them. I did like some of them, but just like the craze for them and like how hard it was to get them and how expensive they were going for. I was just like, nah, I'm going to pass. And that is the Mickey Mouse Memories pins. Um, but recently I have stumbled across a couple on uh, eBay and I found sort of the ones that I, I specifically liked. I didn't want to get the whole set. So we've got May's one and we've got December's one. Um, so we have the May one, which, what would that have been? It doesn't, I don't think it says like, because they were from like decades, weren't they? Um, and it doesn't say what decade was from um but they were a limited release at the time they were 15 pounds for all three pins um depending on which one you look for you can get them anywhere from ten dollars up to 70 80 dollars i think um so this was the first one that i got let me take it out the packaging so you can see a little bit better so as far as pin goes these are in like perfect condition there is a couple little marks on the um, Mickey head one, uh, which is kind of annoying, but um, I think this is supposed to be represent sort of like the 1950s and that sort of style. That's what it reminds me of anyway. Um, so you've got the Mickey Mouse, which I think is very cute. And I really like how they've got sort of like a screen print pattern on them. And then you've got one that says, oh boy. I really like that one. I love the colours pink and blue. And then you've got the Mickey head one there. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's like a couple of little marks on it, but not too worried about that. So that is that one. And then I got December's one as well. I think it would have been December. It says 12 out of 12. So, um, so this would have been like the most recent one of Mickey. And uh, this I liked it because it was all like sparkly and glittery. Again, there is a couple marks on the Mickey head, which is kind of annoying because it's like right on the white bit where you can see it. It looks maybe like, I don't know, it looks like a pin back's gone into part of it. Um, and there's just a couple marks. I'm not overly bothered, but it it does sort of, and now I know it's there, I'll never not be able to see it. Um, so that is the Mickey head i don't know if you can see those little imperfections on it and then we've got this mickey diamond and then you've got the mickey mouse there so those were the two i got and i got them for a pretty close to like retail price um so i was i was pleased about that then we move on to the Minnie Mouse main attraction pins. If you don't know, the Shop Disney stores are releasing a new collection each month with Minnie Mouse as the main focus. And each month is Minnie with a different ride. So there was January, which was Space Mountain. February was Pirates of the Caribbean. March was the Teacups. And April, which actually just released today, the 18th of April, uh, was It's Small World. Um, and they release a plush, a bag of some sort, um, a mug, a pin, and some ears. The ears go like crazy, and so do the pins, to be honest. Um, the first one I actually got was the March one, which was the It's a Small World. And these are a lot bigger than I thought. These have got like two pin backs on them each, as the Mickey ones, if I show you. I mean, they're a similar size, but... Mickey pins only have one, whereas the mini ones have two pin backs on them. And yeah, I was really shocked at how big these were, and I actually really liked them. I initially bought this one just to like trade, um, 
I managed to get up early for it. Um, I've got a little routine of how I do it. Um, but yeah, these are massive pins and I actually really like it. I'm not mad on the teacup. Um, it is just sort of like the mini and the ears one that I mostly like. So those are the ears. So they do release a pair of matching ears to the pin. And then you've got mini holding a teacup. And then you've got the teacup itself. And these are really nice because these ones on the back actually say about... Um, the attraction that it's talking about so it says down the rabbit hole make your way to mad tea party inspired by a sequence from disney's 51 1951 animated film alice in wonderland fantasyland attraction first opened in 1955 at the disneyland park features giant teacups that allow guests to whirl and twirl their own speed so it's nice that they include a little bit about it and i wish they'd sort of done that with the mickey memories just like a little bit about the decade that it was representing. Then I was on the hunt for January's one, which is Space Mountain. So if you watched some of our Disney vlogs back, I, on one of our recent trips, actually went on Space Mountain for the first time and loved it. I also love anything space. And we were there at the time in January of this collection coming out, but the only, like, I think they had some of the years, the plushes, the um, magic band, basically everything except for the pins they said they had sold out um we were unable to get there on the day i think they obviously came out in the parks on the saturday and because we don't have weekend tickets we have weekday tickets we had to wait till monday and they were all gone but i managed to find myself one on uh ebay so again these retail for 14 pounds um for the set of three on the back i'll try i'm trying to read it like through the pin backs it says blast light speed ahead on the space mountain attraction an out of this world roller coaster in the tomorrowland area shooting stars whiz by and orbs of light glow on your journey through space first opened uh at magic kingdom park at walt disney world resort in the something astronomical action has sealed fans ever since let's see what that says shall we Nineteen seventy-five, it came out. So, um, as you know, they've recently celebrated their forty-fifth anniversary of Space Mountain, um, and so once I saw sort of how good the, like, how the size of them and like the glitter in them, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need to pick myself up March, and they are really nice quality. Uh, there is a slight uh, little scratch on the actual space mountain attraction pin but it's not that bad and i like this one because it shows like the actual physical attraction um i know like the pirates one i think it had like a pirate and like i'm not about collecting every single one so i've not got the pirates one um like i said i did get april's one today um and i do have one for trade as well so um if i've still got that head over to my instagram but let's show you these pins so you've got the space mountain in a very galactic purple super pretty and then you've got mini mouse and then those are the ears so these are going straight onto my space collection and i'm pleased to have them i did obviously pay above retail for them but it was way better price than i saw from anywhere else and i think i got them from someone that lived in germany so that was those shall we stay on the theme of disney store so they are crippling us with our pockets at the moment and releasing these collections. They have just announced and released the first of the um, Castle Collection uh, series in which they release a quite a large uh, replica of a Princess Castle, a notebook, a puzzle, although the puzzle's not being released in the UK yet, um, a pin, was there something else? An ornament. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to just get the first one. I, if I don't like it, I can obviously trade it. I do have another one of these um, for trade. Um, but they are a bi-monthly series. So I believe they're coming out every other month, I think. And the first one was Cinderella. On the back, it does, again, have a little piece about it. Um, the Royal Palace possesses... 
something, the mini <laughs> pinback set. I'll have a look at that in a minute. From the stately entrance of the grand staircase where Cinderella lost her glass slipper to the magical ballroom where she and Prince Charming waltzed and fell in love, Cinderella goes from rags to riches to become a kingdom's royal princess and live happily ever after. So I like that because you'll be able, if you take them off the backing cards, you'll be able to know pretty easily which one they go back to. So these do retail for more these are 22 pounds they are a uh, limited release um let's show you what the back of them looks like so that is the back of the pin so it's got like the castle emblem stamp on it and it says limited release this is a massive pin like if i hold it up against the card from mickey memories super big so obviously cinderella castle is like magic kingdom's castle and um it's like my i call it my home park even though technically france is closer to me well i mean not technically it's closer to me um florida has always been my home i've been there way more times than i have in france um so it's, it's just a really gorgeous pin that is what the front looks like it's a slight sort of um not puffy it's like a, but like a hard 3d effect and then you can open it up and it's got an image of all the different rooms so some of these i believe we've not even not really seen before it is just like sort of screen printed some people have said the quality is not great you can sort of see printing lines on it but nonetheless for me most of the t like i just like the front of it and i like the colors of it don't know if i'm going to be purchasing well i'm definitely not going to purchase the whole set i don't think um, because that would be crazy um but i think i want to see what the frozen one's like and yeah but like i had to get the first one and the cinderella castle so i got that so before i move on to uh ones that i think i traded for and some i possibly purchased off ebay we're gonna continue on with this one this is a disney uh artland pin so artland have been the company that I have taken over from um, Acme, I believe, um, in terms of exclusivity and possibly production of them. Um, and there is a couple of different places that you can buy these pins, including the Artland.com web, Artlanduk.com website. Um, and I saw this pin and i really liked it i have another one a couple more that are coming that they've not yet released um but i saw this one and i knew i had to pick it up again there is like very minute little marks there's a little tiny mark on minnie's face which irks me a little bit but these are gorgeous pins and this is seemed to be a new collection that i've started which is like black and white pins and steamboat willy pins ever since disney plus has come and I've been able to watch like all the old cartoons and I've been watching some others on YouTube. I've been like obsessed with like vintage Mickey Mouse now. So this is the pin. So it's Steamboat Willie and Minnie Mouse. They do say that they are a limited edition of 100. This is number 71. Let me take this off. This has three pin backs just to show you how big it is. Um, and it says officially licensed pin from Artland. And they are licensed by Disney. They've sort of got like the gold bars on the back. But yeah, just a massive pin. It's pin on pin. And it's interesting that it's like sepia as opposed to black and white. So um, I probably would have preferred it slightly more if it was black and white. But I can deal with sepia. That's fine. Okay, so on to ones that I've traded for and purchased through people on Instagram, eBay uh facebook groups i've been doing a whole lot of pin trading my parents actually are stuck in florida at the moment they are stuck there because of the coronavirus and covid19 they have had many flights booked to come back and every time they keep getting cancelled so hopefully they will come back sometime in may but we are not sure when they're back but it does mean for the meantime i have a us address that people can trade with me and if i buy any pins that they can send them to um so that's been really helpful um not good for their old wallet i must say my dad's been really great bless him and a couple of pins that they purchased like before the park closes i've been able to trade and he's had to go to the post office for me um when the it was a little bit more relaxed about going out and about 
Um, so yes, there is quite a few pins that they are sort of hoarding for me and will bring back eventually. Um, so here's just a little glimpse of some of them. So I can't quite remember all of these and what they were traded for specifically, but I will show you them up close. So the first one is this test track pin. And this was a part of a three pin uh, exchange, I believe. So this has Goofy on it and I liked it because it is the old test track. I much prefer the old test track, um, what would you call it, like a ride through, walk through, um, like the design of it being um, like a test dummy. So I believe this was part of like a mystery set, um, or not a mystery set, but like a, a booster pack series, I think. Um, there was a couple of ones of like characters in front of attractions. So that was the first one. That says 2009, I think. So got that one. The second one I traded for was this one. This is from Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary. I'm not a big fan of collecting things that have like milestones or events that I've not been to um or like and Paris pins in particular I don't collect a whole lot of but I like the colours of this I may end up trading it at some point um but it is the Minnie Mouse 25th anniversary pin so that's that can you see the one little bit of gel nail polish that I'm waiting to come off so I can paint my nails um so I got that one and the main thing that I wanted to trade for was this one and I know I said I don't usually get ones from events that I've not been to but this was too cute for me to pass up and this is from the Flower and Garden Festival of 2018. So my parents have just been to, like just before the parks closed they managed to get one day at Epcot for the 2020 uh, Flower and Garden Festival, um, it's something me and Darren would love to do one day. But this uh, is a limited release pin from 2018 um, and it is really cute. It's got Mickey and Donald, um, not Mickey, no, Mickey and Pluto on it and they're sort of picking some fresh oranges. It says fresh picked from Florida, um, guaranteed fresh 2018, Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. And I just thought it's really cute. The, the date isn't super big on it either um, and... Yeah, I like that whole sort of like orange Florida. Okay, so the next four pins I did buy and this was a, a amazing price, I think, for these pins because they're not the easiest to come by and when they are, they can sell for quite a lot. And this is the, um, I don't quite know what the set of this is called, but it's a set of four Mary Poppins pins and it's like from a Walt Disney, like, archive series i believe um but they are limited edition of 2000 each and i managed to get all four for a pretty good price so let me show you what they are individually so the first one is mary poppins and she is flying high and as you can see it does have a movable element which i didn't know it had actually so she's there with her umbrella and her carpet bag so that's the first pin. The second pin is this one, which has Bert sitting on the chimney tops. This is one of my favorite scenes, is when they um, do step in time on the rooftops. So that's the second one. And they're really sort of a nice size pin. And they've all got like pin on pin elements to them. And then the third one is uh, this one of Mary, Bert and a penguin. Uh, this is probably my favorite favourite out of the four I would say um, when they've jumped into the painting and they're having tea and the penguin's serving them and then the last one is uh, Mary on her horse and you've got the little fox in front as well I'm not quite sure what the fox's name is actually um, if he has a name but as you can see it's like a, a pin on pin element in the background there 
So really pleased to add those to my Mary Poppins collection. Um, Mary Poppins is one of the my bigger collections that I have. It's like Mary Poppins, Pocahontas, Ariel and Aristocats are my four main ones. Um, but as you can see, Space is becoming a new one. Oh, Carousel of Progress is obviously one of my main ones as well. Um, and um, now like black and white, old cartoon Steamboat Willie pins. So speaking of Steamboat Willie, I managed to get this pin. This again is a really hard to find pin. I believe it's from the Disney store. Let me just check the back of it. Yeah, it's a Disney store exclusive LE1000. I believe it was a UK one. I'm just gonna leave it on the card so it's slightly easier for you to see. Um, but this again has a movable element which I didn't realize when I actually purchased it. But it is a really cute like front on of Mickey. He's pulling the whistle and then the little wheel spins. How adorable is that? I love this pin. It's really nice to see him in a slightly different pose from you see a lot of the traditional um, artwork where they've just taken it straight from the scene where he's like sideways on with like the, doing the wheel. Um, but I really like this where you're sort of looking out through the front of the boat. So that was that pin that I got. Um, and again, super hard to find. The only other one I could find was on eBay and apparently had quite a bit of damage to it. Um, so I was really happy when I saw someone on a UK Facebook group put that up for sale. The next pin I got, I think I traded for this. I'm not quite sure. I have like a notebook where I've put all like my trades in so I can keep an eye on what's coming in and out. Um, so this was a limited edition pin from the Disney store. These pins are pretty hard to find. Um, the Disney store hasn't released a ton of UK sort of exclusive pins for a while. Um, this is from 2015 limited edition of 300. So they're really quite a low LE size. This is the Aristocats 45th anniversary pin. And I really like it. You've got the cats dancing and you've got the kittens. You've got the cats playing their musical instruments. And I just think it's a really nice pin. It's a nice size pin. And um, I like having all the characters there together. So very excited to add that to my collection. Um, I feel like I've not really added much to my Aristocats collection in a while. So the next pin that I've got to show you is this one. This one I've been wanting for quite a while now. Like a couple of years ever since I found it. And it's not, not really something that I have a collection of it's a mickey and minnie pin but i like sort of anything vintagey um anything like 1950s or just like has a little bit of retro feel and this is mickey and minnie in a photo booth it says walt disney world on top i'm always trying to get darren to go into a photo booth with me when we're at disney and he never does um but i thought it was really cute and what's very cute is if i let it go they have their little pictures in there so very sweet how you can see their little pictures and I just loved it so um yeah got that for my collection I believe I traded for it I think and this pin is from 2003 it has just like a solid back to it it's no like engraving on it like they have now uh, the next two pins are going to be my last authentic pins before I show you a fantasy pin. So I did trade for these, I believe from a girl from Ireland. Um, and these sort of complete my um, set. There is a set of four Jonas Brothers pins that they released at Disneyland Paris back in 2009. Um, in one of my last videos I showed, I got the Joe and the Nick pin. Obviously I had to get the others, so um, I was able to trade for the Kevin pin. So these go in my sort of like retro Disney side collection, which is like Jonas Brothers. Um, what else we've got? We've got Lizzie McGuire in it. That's a Raven, Bear in the Big Blue House, like some older uh, programs. And then the other pin that came in the four, it was like a booster pack, I guess, was this Jonas Rocks pin. So I got those two, so glad I can add those onto the board now. I'm going to have to rearrange my pin boards all again and uh, work out what fits where. So the last pin I have to show you is a fantasy pin and I was super surprised at how big this one was. Um, I got this from Disney Pin Trader UK. I think I got it at 
I think I bought it off eBay, um, but she does have an Instagram, um, and I'm not quite sure who is the original maker of it. It might have been Disney Pin Trader UK, but it is Marie from the Aristocat as one of the oysters from Alice in Wonderland. And this is like quite a sizable pin. Um, what can I show you next to? Like, I thought it was going to be tiny, but it's not until you hold it where you're like, Wow, that's actually like quite a big pin. Um, there's no um, stamp on the back. If you don't know what a fantasy pin is, they are like fan or artist based made. Um, they are not tradable at parks um, or with cast members, but they can be very sought after in the Disney pin community. Um, some people either collect them or don't. I have dabbled in fantasy pins here and there, so yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing this pin video if you want to see more let me know down below uh head over to my instagram channel if you want to or my instagram page if you want to see uh some more pin information and things like that and like new pins that i get as they come in and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>